Good morning everyone! In the last video before releasing beta version of Academic Presenter, I want to introduce Unscreen Timekeeper. Unscreen Timekeeper is a handy tool for presenters to distribute the time between topics. It will tell until when you can develop a discussion and from where you need to stop developing and start conclusion. It's easy to use, just you need to define the delay time in seconds for the corresponding keyframe. If the assigned time is more than 20 seconds and it is not moving to the next keyframe automatically, then the on-screen stopwatch will be shown to you. Because if it is going to go to the next keyframe automatically, there is nothing to be worried about since software will change the topic. On-screen stopwatch has three different phases, green, yellow and red. The green time is when you have more than 50% of assigned time. During the green time, you can open your discussion and start your topic by asking a question or defining a new concept. However, between 20 and 50%, we will see the on-screen stopwatch yellow, which means you need to finish major parts of your discussion. And finally, in the red time, you have less than 20% of assigned time, and conclusion seems necessary. Now let us get familiar with this new feature over a sample. In this sample, in the second keyframe, we set 2 seconds delay just to show that it's not showing on a screen stopwatch for short duration since it causes distraction and without any advantage. In the third frame, we are asking 10 seconds delay but we left the move on key press checkbox unchecked. Again it's not showing any timekeeper since academic presenter will control the frame transition. Finally, in the fourth keyframe, we have 20 seconds delay and we are asking software to give us control to move to the next slide manually. In this case, academic presenter realized that you may want to see the watch by using timekeeper and we are expecting a ti three phase timekeeper to be shown in here. Okay, now it's show time. Thank you for watching this brief tutorial. We hope the beta version will be available to the public in the next month. Please stay tuned, we will return to you when the beta version is released. Have a nice day.